Kuzi, hello. Hello, how are you? I'm doing well. I have some questions for you. Go ahead. All right. As a juror, you have a lot of responsibility. What is your criteria or philosophy when it comes to casting your vote for the winner? So for me, I think it's important to vote for somebody that has played and that has played fiercely, that has played unapologetically, that has played with their whole heart and not, you know, made it to the final two by chance and not made it to the final two by floating. Um, somebody that has had strategy and has been, you know, willing to make moves and willing to stand on something and willing to to stand for themselves and play, you know, fearlessly and recklessly even. But I, I respect a player, even if it's somebody that I was not playing with. I respect a player because I would have wanted them to respect me as a player as well had I sta- uh, had I stood at the final two. How much of your vote will be personal versus game? Uh, depends on who the final two are. Um, if it's people that I feel made it there by chance and by eliminating the strong player at the end, then at that point, I'm looking at who it is. If it's like, let's say my teammates, if it's Anika and Daniel that's standing there, and I, I know that I've played as- alongside them. Um, at that point, I do feel that a little bit of personal would come in. I don't want to be a bitter juror, but I would look at, you know, who was there for me who helped me in, you know, in what I was trying to do. So not personal about them, but personal about what they meant to me, what their game was for me. Um, I think that's the only way that I would go personal about it. Okay, I'm going to run through the players remaining in the game, and I want you to give me your thoughts on their game and how likely you think you would be to vote for them in the final two. Okay. Uh, We'll start with Anika. Anika, if she is at final two, just depending on who she's with, um, if she stands with anybody else at the final two except Ty, I would vote for her. If it's her and Ty, I would vote for Ty. Um, but should she stand at the final two versus anybody, I'm voting for Anika. I um, appreciate her loyalty. I appreciate that she's somebody that stood her ground. And, you know, she supported me in a lot. And she, I can only respect that. And she's she's a powerful woman. Funny, witty, unafraid of anybody. I love it. How about Claudia? Claudia, I feel that because I expected that Claudia would somewhat be on my side or understand me better or support me even because I was willing to support her. So should she stand at final two, regardless uh, with who she stands, except if it's Daniel C. If it's Daniel C, I'm voting for Claudia. But should she stand with anybody else at the end, I'm not voting for her. How about Daniel? Daniel, it also now depends who he's standing with. If he's standing with Shania, I'm voting for him to win. However, if he's standing with anybody else, I'm voting for the other person to win. I think that uh, with Daniel, I could say that's where I, you may see a bit of bitterness. I don't want to be a bitter juror, but also the way that he played or the way that he was not upfront with me. Um, plays a big part. He knows I'm leaving. At that point, at least do me the honor of telling me the truth or we'll stand by something, tell me something. So um, because he didn't, um, I, I don't have reason to think that he had a great game, stand for something, and he didn't. Um, but I know that he also didn't because that's the person that he is. He didn't want to hurt my feelings, but I would have appreciated that. How about Renee? Renee, if she is standing with Ty, that's when I wouldn't vote for her. But should she stand with anybody else, maybe except Anika, it would be Renee. I I would vote for Renee for sure. Uh, How about Shania? Absolutely not. I I cannot vote for Shania to win because I think it's also because I I don't, I haven't seen her game. I have not played a single thing with her in any time that I um, depended on her or I advised her something, she would go contra it. She didn't, I don't think she had much regard for my gameplay, but of course, because she was also playing her own game, but I, I just haven't seen game in her. I think that she, she's made it to where she's made it by chance. Um, but of course, because I'm looking at it from my point of view, I don't know what's happening beyond behind the scenes. So from what I can see, that's why I wouldn't vote for her regardless of who she's sending me. How about Ty? Ty, no matter who he stands with, that's the winner to me. 
except if he was standing with me <laughs> then I'm the winner. but um i my vote is with tai 100% and i don't think it's going to change regard, like no matter what pitch i hear from who i, I hear from i've watched tai play i've played alongside him i have watched tai struggle i've watched tai struggle alone i've I watched tai pull himself from deep places and um i can only support him and respect him he is a player all right. Uh you've already counted on this. Can you rank the players from most likely that you would vote for them to least likely? Okay. I would go Ty, Anika Renee. Ah, lies. I would go Ty, Anika. Yeah, Renee, Claudia, Daniel, Shania. All right. Uh do you plan to try to convince the other jurors to vote the same as you? Absolutely. So as I go into jury, I know that my work is not done. I know that typically jury is a place where you go in there and you, you know, you vote fairly. But I feel that in my mind, just having made it thus far, fairly would be to vote for Ty to win. So I'm going there to advocate for him. I'm going there to do work for for Ty because I wanted to see him and I go far. And because now I'm out of the game, I can only vouch for him. So hopefully he makes it to the final two. And everything that I will do in jury is to make sure that he wins at the end. Who do you think has played the best game? I mean, <laughs> I'll play the best game. Whether I'm in it or not, I do think that I have played the best game. Um, but I also think that Ty is, uh, is is pretty close behind me. I I will always be biased to myself, but I did think that I, I played a, a pretty bad enough game. Um, one for the books by me, because I did everything that I said I was going to do. And I was I was transparent about what I was doing. And uh, he's got an aggressive approach and it's worked thus far. So I can only applaud him. He's played a good game. As who, well. do you, who do you think has had the most influence in the game? Um, the most influence? Um, oh, how do you mean by that? Uh, I just I don't think I can elaborate. Influence. <laughs> okay. Well, if I'm thinking of how, how I think, when you say influence, I would think of somebody with a great social game. Um, I'm not in the house anymore, so I can't say myself. Otherwise, I would have said myself because I do think that I, I, I really tried to balance my, you know, balance my my relationships in the house. Um, but if I can say influence, oh, I can't say it in anybody, but maybe Daniel. Daniel is liked. Daniel is loved because he's Daniel C. He's warm. He's bubbly. He's a, either he's an upbeat spirit. He's got an upbeat personality, except when it's not. Um, so I do think that any influence would be, you know, anything that he says or anything that he tries to to pitch and vouch would would be taken a bit more um, because of the person that he is, because of his personality. So yeah. Who are you most upset with in the game? Daniel C. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm most upset with him because I did expect um, different from him. I did expect him to give me a fair fighting chance. I know that he's got a closer relationship with Anika or um, even after hearing about their final two deal, I would have thought that for everything that I have done and for where I've carried us as a group, he would at least give me that fighting chance. I know that final twos change. Final twos change every two days um, because somebody leaves. And at that point, he could have made a final two with me. I feel that I am a strong player and I showed my strengths. And I just would have thought that the player that he is would, you know, flip it and, you know, get a final two with me instead. But he didn't. And of course, I would pitch this for myself because it's me. I don't want to go home. So that's what I would have liked to see. But he stood in, in, in what he wanted or what he had promised. And had it been me... I would have I would have weighed out the options and seen what's strong up for me. What's the better play for me? I think I was the better play for him for sure. Was there something specific that caused your argument with Daniel? Um, not really, not really. I think that everything that I did say to Daniel, I had already said to Anika. I'm not sure if Anika had told Daniel to come and talk to me, but Daniel came looking for it. I think he came looking for me to tell him how I was actually really feeling. At that point, he knows that I'm going home. He knows that I've got nothing to hide anymore. But at that point, I hadn't said anything because I didn't want to uh, necessarily like hurt his feelings or say something that was, you know, off tune and leave him with like a sour taste of me. But he he did come looking for it. So I I don't think that anything that caused 
me to now say certain comments. Um, I think that that was the truth in my in my mind. And that's my genuine feeling. What do you think was your biggest mistake in the game? My biggest mistake was probably not aligning myself with Santina um, early enough. I think that it did both of us a disservice. I think that we noticed it in each other. At least for me, I can say that I did notice a strong woman in her, a strong player in her. Um, and had I taken the time to, you know, engage that or put effort to solidify that, maybe this would have been different. Maybe the season would have been even more powerful. You know, two badass ladies running this house. It would have been one for the books. It would have been epic. So I, I missed that chance. And maybe that's something I could have explored. All right. Thank you, Kuzi. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Yeah, you too.